Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that have been following me along on my social media, you guys know that we are making a trip all the way to California. So we stopped at a small little town in Nevada. I don't even know what it's called, but there's only two pumps here and I don't know when the nearest gas station is after this. So I never want to take a risk, but got my equipment loaded up. <laughs> gas is 378 here not bad but there's all my equipment it's all dirty from the passes and the snow and the ice melt that they use ramp rack trimmers middle of nowhere <laughs> let's continue down the road Alright, after another hour of driving, stop by Beans and Brews for some coffee. You guys know my wife and I love coffee. And uh, really sunny out here, still in Nevada. Got snow on the mountains over there because Nevada got a lot of snow. But not in this area. The roads are clear and we're safe, so that's what really matters. But. Can't wait for warmer weather. Can't wait to get out there and mow. All right, we are at another stop. Got to refuel again. Place called uh, Green Valley Grocers. And got to get out and stretch. My wife is actually driving. I took a little nap. Ooh. Show you the gas here. 419. I'll show you inside, why not? The best part is, it's like 50 degrees out. It's way better than one city in Nevada, it's like zero degrees. It's like 50 here. That just means we're getting closer and closer to California. 54 degrees, and we got six hours left. We have not used AC in so long. Everything here is pretty much dry. guys we made it to California and we I know it's dark hey you can probably not see me but <clears throat> there's the truck completely empty obviously but uh, I'm super tired I need to go go to bed I can't think straight right now <laughs> we just ate we drove around a little bit and uh, to get some food, not to scout out properties because it's dark out, right? But I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and tomorrow morning is gonna be a straight up scout day. It's Sunday tomorrow. I'm not gonna work tomorrow. I'm strictly gonna scout, see what I can find. And if I get two or three properties, then we're gonna do them Monday and Tuesday and then we're leaving Wednesday. So I'll show you where my equipment is. Boom. So I'm super thankful that this Airbnb that we're staying at has a garage I can use. However, unfortunately the garage is not high enough for my truck to come in. If we were in a car or if I had like a pull behind trailer, I could probably fit it in here. But we got my mower and all my other equipment, my wife's bicycle that she's going to be riding around. Um, but she's going with me tomorrow morning to scout. So. I told her I need all the support I can get, you know? When you go and scout, you want to make sure that you land something, especially if you're driving. You know, it's like a, it was like a 20, 22 hour drive or something like that. Crazy long drive. 
and we're just completely wiped out. Both her and I, you know, we we drove, we did make a few stops. It wasn't a full on 20 hour uh, drive. So we did stop, but still we did like 12 hours today and I'm just completely exhausted. I'm definitely lost for words with California drivers. Um, the craziest drivers I've seen. I mean, we spent like two hours uh, probably driving through California and all the traffic and everything. People are crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh man, they were, they were speeding and I don't know, I felt like the state patrols were just sitting on the highway not doing nothing. Like one guy just flew by like crazy and the state patrol officer didn't even go and chase him. I'm like, what? You know, if that happened to me, I would instantly get pulled over. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I'm done. I gotta go hit the hay. Um, it's been it's been a fun drive, but I really hope that we get something um, tomorrow when we scout. You know, I don't want to go home skunked. That would be very unfortunate. But however, I did tell my wife. I'm like, look, if even if we don't find anything, we're just we came here to relax. At the end of the day, it's nice weather, way better than, you know, in Idaho where it's like 10, 20 degrees out and snowing. Here it's like 70 degrees. We're really enjoying our time here so far, but we're just completely wiped out, so we need all the rest we can get. So anyways, guys, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Hope you have your morning coffee like I do. We actually got some, um, they have a Keurig here. We went to the store yesterday, got some Bulletproof coffee. If you guys have never tried this, that you are missing out. Really good coffee in my opinion. Um, we got the pods, so, you know, it is what it is, but hope you're enjoying your morning coffee for watching this in the morning. Let me just show you real quick what I'm gonna be eating before we go out. Hit the roads and scout. Boom. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Better than McDonald's. I made good bar. Soft baked oat, oat bar. Banana, of course. Got a, found these nice juices. Cold pressed juice. Organic. Got orange, apple, mango, pineapple. Cerola. The key to making the best sandwich ever is to make sure your spread coats all the edges oh uh, I missed a little bit there we go touched it up it's my sandwich anyways <laughs> there we go cheese sharp cheddar gotta have some mayo salami and some honey uh, turkey man I haven't been in this uniform in ages got my boots my khaki Cujo yard pants and of course my Little performance t-shirt with my logo on the front and the back got my electrolyte drink and a GoPro Whew, I feel good got helicopters flying around boy that's loud can't forget about the good old nemesis v30s these are like super cheap. I think they're like 10 or $15 for a, for a pair of these shades. Super cheap shades, but man, they fit my head perfectly. <laughs> oh man, I haven't worn this uniform in months. I mean, all winter long, it's been like five months. Super beautiful weather. Super grateful to be here. Ah, I feel great. <laughs> all right, we've been driving around and found this one here like I said we're not doing any mowing today so completely empty truck and trailer well not trailer but trailerless setup yeah the lawns here there's not much overgrowth but found this one and the sidewalks it definitely needs a lot of help the lawn needs a lot of help the interior is completely gutted so I'm sure someone owns it I'm not sure who owns it but we're gonna take care of it for them and it's just the front yard. Again, California, the lawns are super tiny, but at least there's like an island here that needs to be mowed, trimmed, edged. Make it nice, 
make it look nice and presentable for this really nice neighborhood. All right, we got that one on the list. Let's continue searching for more. Yeah, I don't think finding overgrown lawns is necessarily hard. There's a lot of them. However, having people to actually answer when I knock is the hard part. That one in particular would be a perfect project. However, there's probably 30 to 40 flyers on their steps, patio, and door. And so the cars look like they haven't been moved in years. I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but we won't be doing it. But again, it would be a perfect one. Pine trees and pine needles. I feel like I'm back in the Pacific Northwest. What is this? <laughs> and we're back. So, I'm already changed. I got some uh, summer clothes on, cause it's hot. So, let me give you an update on uh, what we found and what we didn't find and all that. First, I'm gonna try this uh, culture pop soda, wild berries and lime. <laughs> My wife's looking at me funny. <laughs> no, but, so we drove around Long Beach. I'm not sure what districts they are, but let's just say we drove around North, East, West, and South Long Beach. South Long Beach, this main area, there's like no lawns at all. Everything's so compact, like there's nothing to find, no work here. So we went North Long Beach. Again, I don't know what district exactly, but the lawn started to get bigger, but we noticed that we were in like in this really hilly area. So that meant that uh, some of the properties had a lot of landscaping and beds. So I couldn't get my equipment on those properties, but they were still overgrown. So we're like, okay, well, at least we know some of the properties are overgrown, that's good. So we went into deeper north side of uh, Long Beach and we finally found some good properties. We're gonna be doing two of them tomorrow for sure, or actually three of them tomorrow for sure. And then we went into Eastern Long Beach and we found a property, I knocked on the door and she answered the door and she was super thankful that I was willing to offer the service for free and we got that one locked in tomorrow as well. So we're gonna be definitely doing three. We're gonna be checking on a few other ones, but we found, we probably saw 20 to 30 overgrown lawns. I'd say five to six of them were like jungles. The other ones were just overgrown. I'm very surprised at how many people actually take care of their lawns in California or Southern California, at least. All of the lawns, Almost all of the lawns are upkept and even edged like a lot of people edge their lawns in California Which is like super surprising the sidewalks are nice and clean And so of course we weren't going for those but I was just like man a lot more people edge their lawns in California Rather than in where I live in Idaho. So uh, that was just a big surprise to me but We're gonna be busy tomorrow probably again Knocked on I think like five or six doors and only two of those doors answered. And, um, what? Can you see me? Yeah, oh, okay. yes, I can see What do you think of California? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be super busy, and I'm gonna tag you guys along, but I'm mainly gonna be focusing on creating that overgrown content for my main channel. As you probably already know, this is for my plus channel, my behind the scenes, and you get to see what other people don't from my main channel. So I hope you enjoy this one. Hope you can stick around to the end. And I'm still gonna be shooting some, you know, behind the scenes while I'm at these properties and just kind of show you exactly what I found and what needs to be done. So, what, you wanna be in it? <laughs> you wanna be in it? We're ready to go home. <laughs> That's all I am, yeah. We're ready to go. We are, we miss our pets. 
so much you know we, we got coda we got our two cats smoky and stanley and we miss them we haven't seen them yeah mom said they're stress eating they're stress eating yeah they miss us. <laughs> <laughs> well we miss them too so i can't wait to get back all right spent the day hanging out uh, wherever we could we just checked out some of the beaches no we didn't swim but we checked out some of the ice cream shops too we got some ice cream and now we're back to airbnb right the clean beautiful airbnb no we got um just gotta eat right it's dinner time six like 6 35 36 and uh let me let let you in on a little secret we eat simple around here we don't fancy out on anything other than maybe special occasions which makes sense but you want to see what we we're eating tonight <laughs> yeah a cup of noodles so this one's actually my favorite this is the snapdragon chicken ramen and uh there's the inside we went to trader joe's as well i don't know if you guys have a trader joe's around your area but i'm trying out some of their chicken flavor instant ramen soup saw that giving it a try we got the classic cheese and salami if you guys didn't know i'm russian by the way all russians love cheese salami and bread and so bread cheese salami ham a bunch of like pops and mayonnaise and a creamer for the coffee water orange juice we got food can't ever say you don't got any food when even if it's simple like this it's food right so gotta be thankful for what you have and you can't forget about the seaweed man if you guys don't like seaweed oh you're missing out i used to not like it either and then I tried some. I used to not like sushi. Then I tried sushi. I tried some seaweed chips. Good morning. Time to load up my equipment. I'm super glad nobody parked here. So now I don't have to back my truck in to get my mower up into the ramp, into the bed of the truck. Do you hear that by the way? Someone is mowing. It's a company maybe doing like the common areas of a apartment building or something. They're using a gas blower. Somebody out there was trying to scare me and say, I can't use gas equipment in California. That's just so not true. I read something that California can't sell certain gas engined mowers after 20, newer than 2023. So you can't buy newer than 2023. You can also not sell newer than 2023 unless it's a specific mower with a specific engine that's California compliant. That's not that's not my cup of tea. I don't want to do any research on that, but all this is owned by me. I'm not buying anything new, so I'm able to use it all. Anyways, let's load up the truck and go mow, finally. Okay, we're cleaning up property number one. Let me clean my camera lens. Got the uh, truck parked in a nice parking. There's no vehicles behind me so I can freely take my mower down. Man, it's, it's looking a lot better. I know, I don't know, I think I briefly showed you guys yesterday what it looked like. So I just finished trimming the whole perimeter around the trees, around the perimeter of the front, around the garden beds. And if you're new to the channel, I'm using a battery operated trimmer. It's a steel KM A135R with an AP300S battery. And this yellow bar thing helps with the, uh, helps with your back. It straightens out your back. It straightens out your posture when you're holding the trimmer. So you're not leaning forward. If you're tall, if you're over six foot two or six foot, this is a definite must. It's called a Darwin's group. So it just clamps on to your shaft and you make adjustments to your liking. And you can take off the loop handle. 
I forgot that I'm in California for a second. <laughs> forgot how humid it is, so gotta stay hydrated. And uh, what we're gonna do next is blow off the sidewalk and all the leaves from the gutter of the street and in here blow them all the way to this lawn here and we're gonna mulch them all up and then we gotta blow out this bed here so yeah looking a lot better in my opinion already time to get back to work we got uh two more after this one All done blowing. acting up again so I'm gonna have to mulch everything well obviously we're not hauling anything away I don't even know where I'd put it or dump it so let me put you guys away we'll see you at the next property I got to finish this one up and uh, we'll be done All right, here's the next one. Just the front yard. So there you go, guys. I actually finished up. My GoPro battery died. But you'll see the complete makeover on my main channel. Off to the next one. I just realized I forgot to take after pictures at my first property. Man, rookie mistake. I've only That only happened to me a couple times throughout my lawn, lawn mowing lawn makeover career but of course it has to happen here now I have to drive back at least it's five minutes away actually three minutes now I've been driving so yeah <laughs> sorry guys I've completely forgot to show you the third one but you're just gonna have to go to my uh, main channel Phil's Lawn Care and wait for those videos we just finished three today 
and I'm exhausted I'm going back but I think that's it I think that's all that I have time for because we're not here for we're not here for even a week I'm here for like three days so day one was scouting today was working tomorrow is like just final rest and pack up and then we're gone so that's it that's not the end of this video though we're still we're still on this trip this is not you don't you won't see this on the main channel you won't see this on the main channel you'll this is behind the scenes so the trip is still not over we still got a lot more to show this one's for Greg Chisholm he's always saying about these roundabouts man they're scary look at this one a two-lane roundabout <laughs> Two lane roundabout, man. Go! Ah! <laughs> so, California was a success. We got three lawns done. And I completely trashed my mower, grass everywhere. I forgot to blow it off. So we're trying to get all these three done. So tomorrow's gonna be a rest day for sure. I need it. And we're just gonna hang out, enjoy the sunshine before we have to go back to cold Idaho. So, yeah. Some of you told me to be careful for thieves in California. And I was careful, but for the, for the most part, I was in more safer, areas uh, when I was mowing. I also I have locks on all my equipment so if you put in the right combo it'll turn, you can unlock it, twist it, and all of these racks have it except the 2.5 gallon gas can rack. It doesn't have a lock system. It just has like a pin system. So but everything else has a combo lock so if you input the correct pin you're able to unlock it and lock it up like so uh, and again they're all equipment defender racks equipmentdefender.com check them out uh oh look what's about to happen the rain is about to come down <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm glad this is the last day. Maybe the clouds will pass by. I don't know. But anyways, good morning, everybody. This is Laguna Beach. This is so pretty. Wow. You don't get any of this in Idaho, only in California. Let's go.
Definitely gonna miss this place. Look at this view. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? All right, guys, good morning. It's departure time. As you can see, I loaded everything up. Woke up super early. It's like 3.30 in the morning. And time for us to hit the road. Got everything locked up, secured. All my equipment. And the reason why I'm whispering is because, as you can tell, it is super quiet. Not a plane or helicopter in the sky, nobody outside, not a car driving by. The only thing you might hear is the flickering of my truck lights. Super quiet. Stopped at a little cafe to grab a bite to eat. This is uh, Fresno, California. Nice green grass everywhere. This would actually be an ideal place to come and visit one day. This is gonna be our next place to uh, come and seek out for overgrown lawns, who knows. Fresno, California. Time for some lunch. Pulled over at a rest area to rest. We are, uh, I think we're like two, two and a half hours from Mount Shasta. That's where we're gonna be spending the night, not on the mountain, but like an Airbnb or something over there. Super windy. Here's what the place looks like. A few mountains over there. I think that's where we're headed. And uh, my dry wraps are completely destroyed from hours and hours, actually days probably, yeah, days on the road. Dry wraps are destroyed. I need to get some new ones when I get home. And the one on the blower completely tore up. I had to throw that one in the garbage. And these are about ready to go. I want to hold on to them for as long as I can because we're going up to the mountains. Sorry, I know you probably can't hear me. We're going up to the mountains and there might be rain there. So I don't want to get water on my equipment. So I want to keep these on for as long as I can. Hopefully they won't fly off and rip completely off uh, until we get back home. And then we'll order some new ones. I think I might have an extra one, I'm not sure. But we're still not mowing anyways in Idaho. So it really doesn't matter. We have a lot of time left, or a lot of time to get them in, install new ones and be ready for the mowing season for 2024 in Idaho. Look at this, cabin in the woods. <laughs> That's where we're staying at, cabin in the woods. Wow. This is, uh, we're staying near Mount Shasta. The mountain is somewhere over there, but you can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. Maybe tomorrow, when we, when we do our departure going home, I'll snag a clip of the mountain. It's huge. I wish we had a view of it from here, but I don't think we do, so. But this place is nice. Nice little Airbnb. In the woods. <laughs> huge trees. We got a hot tub. I know what we're doing tonight. Oh, we just, I ordered some pizza. There's a pizza company that will deliver here. Crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna have some pizza and wings for dinner tonight. I almost forgot to show you the condition of the dry wraps. They are toast. Yep. <laughs> they are toast. I'm gonna leave them, kinda leave my equipment covered overnight. 
just in case it rains, which I don't believe it will, but just in case, kind of keep them protected. And in the morning, rip them off, throw them away, and order me a new set. Not just for the trimmers, but also for the blower. For my steel BR700. Oh, wind is picking up. Man, look at these trees, ginormous. We could take out a house if one of them were to fall. I made a big mistake. I went and washed my truck and it was a self wash, right? And I used one of those uh, brushes. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. But I used a brush to get all the mud because I had like mud that I kicked up going through Idaho. So I washed it all. And man, I smacked myself in the forehead. I'm like, what am I doing? Of course it leaves all those lines so when I get home I'm gonna wash my truck and completely uh, rebuff it so I'm gonna stage probably two stage two stage three polish it first I got to clean all this mud and dirt off polish it and then put a nice fresh layer of wax on it and then clean my rims and tires because my truck is filthy it's usually not this dirty you guys know me those of you that know me for a very long time <laughs> You know that I do not like dirty, nasty equipment, including my truck. It's disgusting. I got bugs everywhere on my windshield. Oh, you probably can't see them. Bugs everywhere. I need some sleep. <laughs> That's what I need. I'm going back in. Well, good morning, guys. It's time for our departure. We're just packing up, ready to leave this really nice Airbnb. Wife, what do you think about it? You want to live here? This is a beautiful Airbnb. Spacious. It's got a hot tub outside. And it's so clean. That's true. We came in. It was well organized. The hosts have a really nice organized binder, which impressed us. But the thing that impressed us most was how clean this place was. So, yeah, it might not be the newest, not the newest appliances, but we had everything we need. All the essentials. It's super clean. Yeah. So. I, I didn't even have to uh, disinfect anything. That's how clean it is. There you go. And usually I disinfect the whole house. The whole house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unlike the Long Beach one. So, anyways, we gotta have a cup of Joe. Can you show what coffee it is? Take that bag out. Because oh. not a lot of people have tried this coffee. I'm gonna show you guys what coffee we're drinking. So it's the Bulletproof, Bulletproof The Maximizer. It's really good. Really good coffee. You guys should try this out. You we drink it. it. You almost spilled it. <laughs> More cleaning. So, but we love Bulletproof. We had we bought their pods and now bought their ground coffee because they just had one of these um, Mr. Mr. Coffee coffee machines. Some of you might have this particular model. <laughs> So, anyways, we gotta pack up. Let's hit the road. Got signed with taking out the trash. And look what we have to do. Instead of putting them in these ones, we have to put it in this bin. Uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Can anyone take a wild guess why I had to lock up my garbage in a bin? Metal bin. Leave that in the comments down below. Stop to get some coffee. Right next to the mountain. It's 
small town USA, middle of nowhere. Home sweet home, we are back. Completely tired, exhausted. Gotta go unload all this. Actually, no, I'm not gonna unload any of this. I unloaded all the clothes from my truck, cleaned out the truck. It's ready to be cleaned. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> clean tomorrow unloaded tomorrow we're gonna take the ramp rack off and probably the rails off too because I want to hit my automatic wash that I have a membership at I don't want to hand wash this truck it's way too big for that <laughs> but I'm glad I could take you guys along the journey of mowing lawns in California thank you so much for tuning in this has been an incredible time we will definitely visit more cities in the california area since they are growing i don't know if we will in march or april i know may once may hits i'm i'm working all 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 all, all summer long basically in our city so unless stuff starts to die off then maybe i have to venture out into other cities and see what's growing out there but anyways guys we will check out more um cities when things start to die off, when fall time comes, when winter time comes this year, we're gonna have to go to bigger uh, or growing, uh, growing states, which would be California for us. That is the closest one. And I already found some cities that I wanna go to like Fresno and just a few others that I've seen along the way uh, that grow like crazy, not just like in the Long Beach area, not just in SoCal, but in Central California as well. So anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless you. If you enjoyed this trip, consider subscribing if you haven't already to this plus channel. Check out my main channel. That's where I do all the overgrown lawn makeovers. And I also have a Phil's Lawn Care Shorts channel that shows all short form content. So if you don't like the 30, 40 minute makeover videos, you can check out the five minute version. So go in the description down below. I have all the channels listed. Thank you again so much. Take care. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next one.